What's going on guys? Coach Stoneface here and welcome back. We are on the heels of the weirdest box I've ever opened, question mark. Um, I mean, definitely the weirdest box I've ever opened. So we opened up, we had, I, wow, I can't speak right now. I apologize. I pre-ordered two boxes of Series 1 for 21-22. And in the first box I said, you know, my man, pack luck's been bad. I hope it would get a little better. So it delivered but it delivered in quantity over quality so we'll kind of go over some of the bigger the bigger hits we had here we did have a upl rookie portraits we had a now this is where it gets crazy we had nine young guns we had a french young gun of matt kirstead one of the lower end names you can get but again we're talking quantity over quality here we had a black Young Guns canvas of Brent Murray. We had a regular Young Guns canvas of Alex Brie Brule. And then we had our normal Young Guns here of Jeremy Davies, Callan Addison, which might be our second biggest name, Ross Colton, Mike Hardman, Garrett Pylon, or Pilon, and then Spencer Knight, who is going for, I think he's like third in the in terms of Young Gun goalie um selling value or like the the cost people to pay to buy it but i think he's going to be the best one and we also got a day with a cup now first time i ever pulled a day with a cup it's not a, a subset or an insert that i personally have ever wanted to collect so uh when i did some research on the values of the day with a cup i was shocked at how low they are i mean this is under a 50 dollar card and i thought it might be worth a little bit more so I mean, those are our best hits. Obviously, the Spencer Knight would be our best Young Guns name. Um, but we had nine Young Guns. But again, we just didn't get quality. We had quantity. So we're going to try to do a little bit better today on this one. We'll move my little name tag there. So we have our second box of Upper Deck Series 1. Uh, I'm guessing it came from the same case that that one did. So... Um, I think the day with a cup is considered a case hit as it is in, where is it? Um, not rookie retrospective day with cup flashbacks is one in 2,888. Now short prints are one in 12,000. I'm pretty sure that's not a short print. I don't know how you'd even know, but I'm again, I'm pretty sure it's not a short print. I didn't see any available on eBay, uh, for at least Luke Robitaille. So I don't, I don't know what to expect now with that being said again i think this is going to be from the same um from the same case so we're not going to get a case hit because i'm pretty sure that would be one so we're about to find out what we get on this one now i did pre-order these i pre-ordered them um ages ago like back in the fall and they were 120 no 129 so i paid a buck 130 per per box here now the other thing to to keep in mind with these is uh unfortunately this i don't live local to any card store um so there is no free shipping with this company uh they were somebody i've used before so it looks like i maybe got a jersey in that one um somebody i've used before a company that you know a card store that i'm, I'm comfortable using and, and happy to support um, you know, it's about an hour and a half out of my little town here. That's not going to go anywhere. So I'm just go like that. Um, so again, I'm happy to support them. They do charge shipping, unfortunately. So I think all in all, you know, we get 130 plus tax, you know, 13% here in Ontario. Uh, and then with your shipping and that, I'm, I'm probably looking closer to $155, $160 a box. And it's like I said, like you get nine young guns, you're like, oh man, you made your money back. I don't know if I did. Now I'm going to keep some. There's some that I, I want to keep. Um, a goldie guy myself, I'm probably going to keep Spencer Knight. Um, there is a suit variation I got of Marc Andre Fleury. I know that's not a young gun, but and there's some that I'm just going to hope out that that gets better value as it goes on. So we'll we'll see. We'll see if this one's any better here. Let's hope for the best, just in terms of names again. Um, we do have our first one here. It is Wyatt uh, Kalunk or Kaliunk. So there we go, Dylan Strome behind them. So our first Young Guns, and once again, a bit of a dud name. 
bit of a dud name, but that's okay. We'll see what we come up with here as we continue to work through. Got to find out where to... I got a bit of a mess here on my, my card opening deck. All right, I'll put those over there. All right, pack number two. Let's keep the enthusiasm going. Let's get some pack luck. The first one, again, tons and tons of um, quantity. But again, it, we're looking for quality over quantity. But, you know, when half your quantity or quality or quantity is case hits, you're not expecting a whole bunch. It looks like we have one of those, um, not retrospective, I keep saying that, uh, honor rolls. Looks like the old Fleer cards, in my opinion. David Pasternak, that one's not too bad there. I'm going to look through as I always say, I miss suit variations. I don't know how common they are. Uh, I don't think there's any in the first one, right? I went back and looked. Yeah, I don't know how common they are. Uh, I've never noticed them before, and people have told me that I've missed them on my videos. So the fact that I saw one last video, a little on the surprising side. Uh, another comment I'll make is, you know, as I open this one up and if I can get the camera to focus, geez, Louise, it won't, will it? The corners are dinged up. Moral of the story, the corners are dinged up. Um, but on the last one, it was pretty good for quality. And we have a debut dates there of Connor McMichael. Plays for my local junior team. And looks like it's all she wrote. <laughs> All right, so we're three packs, and we have one young gun of a player I'm not familiar with. Now, I believe the majority of these young guns are all carryovers from last year. Obviously, the big names. I mean, you can still get a Zegras and Cole Caulfield and whatnot, but the, the big names from this year we're looking for. The Detroit guys, um, really probably Detroit players are the ones we're looking for most, will be either in Series 2 or the extended series. We have a Mark Stone Hundo P. So I believe the black one's the regular one. I said in the last video, I wasn't sure if the black was the was the short print or not, but it is the regular one, I believe. All right, so another slow start to a box. Uh, another slow start, but we're going to hopefully pick it up here in the next couple cards. Go through these quickly. And... We have our French variation of Elvis Morslinkis. So you can see it says French variation. I'm, I'm going to have to redo my whole setup here. I have no idea what's going on with it. So we do have a French variation there of Elvis. This is super frustrating that everything just seems to fall apart in my office. But that is not your problem. I apologize if you're able to make it through this video. I really do appreciate it. And I do ask that you stick around to the end because you never know what you're going to find. Maybe we get something big here and you it'll get you excited to buy your own Michael Bunting with the Coyotes. All right. We do have an Evander Kane. That's unfortunate. I'm not going to spend any time with it on canvas. Jason Robertson's second year. All right. And that was the bottom right pack. So now we're going to head up to our top right. We have one young gun so far. We do have a passer neck on a roll, but that would be our next biggest name. And I don't think the honor rolls are worth a whole heck of a lot. All right, we have another canvas here of Braden Point. I do like that one. It's a cool looking card. Look at him look down there. All right, we're going to hammer through these as quickly as we can. The camera just seems to be acting up. I thought I fixed it after the last video, but clearly I did not. And I'm going to have to do... I recently updated my OBS, and it's been it's been a little wonky since. So I don't know if it's OBS. I don't know if it's my camera. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if maybe that's why the lighting is all messed up. But we do have a Patrick Line. A. Oh, my goodness. Those are just... There we go. Patrick Line, electromagnetic. And he has, he's been coming on hot lately. He's had quite a few good games in a row. He had the highlight real goal there earlier this week, which is super exciting. All right. See what we come up with. This one looks like it might be a young guns. Nashville. All right, Tanner Janot. 
you know, in terms of the second, maybe third tier of young guns, he's the one you're looking for. He's a bit older, so he's one of the ones like Panarin, who, although he's a great player, his young guns never really took off in value. Um, I would say purely because of his age, if I had to guess. Uh, and it makes me, you know, it's I said in the last video that Lafreniere is one of those players I want to hold on to because uh, I think he's going to turn into something still. Um, and Kaprizov's already into something, but he's older. So he's not going to be, you know, around as long. Maybe doesn't have quite as memorable of a career or break as many records. But looks like we have a portraits here. 39 on the Capitals is Anthony Mantha. Anthony Mantha portraits. Keandre Miller second year. Kaprizov second year. So actually, just as I say that, Kaprizov is, yeah, he was born in 97. So that makes him, what, 20, 22 this year? Yeah, 22-ish in April. So, as we can see, like, Keandre Miller, last year was his second year. Or last year was his rookie year, and he's 2000. So, Caprizov's got a few years on him. But they say the same thing with Michael Bunting. That, you know, he's technically up for, for the Calder Trophy this year. And now he's unlikely to get it over the Detroit guys or Zegers. But he is up for the Calder, but he's, what, 20, 25 years old. So, there's a lot of controversy around him being eligible even. I'm not sure what we have here. Oh, we got a clear cut this one. So don't think it's a young guns based on this. It is not. It is just a clear cut base of Victor Arvidsson. So that was the only thing we're missing in the last box was a clear cut young guns. I was really hoping that one found its way out of those packs and just could have said we had it all that that one. We had every virtually every possibility of a variation to young guns but we are still sitting just at two young guns so we can pretty much fully say we're not going to get a clear-cut young guns still is a chance we get a canvas one although it may be unlikely we have young guns here i don't recognize the face it is matthias samuelson so there we go we are at our three young guns so far so that's about right we have three on the right and then we're gonna get three on the left but another another box where we're just a little lackluster in quality and unfortunately here <clears throat> so let's see what we can do i can't believe it's camel cars third year but again camera won't focus at all but you can even see through the camera the the crappy corners just on a couple cards, it looks like the front ones here are okay. So hopefully whatever the hit is, is okay. It's an honor roll of Stammer. So there we go. But, all right. See what we can come up with here. We have ADB. We have a young, uh, nope. We have a debut date of John Leonard. I've never heard of this player, so I'm not going to be too worried about that one. Troy Terry. I recently bought, yeah, Troy Terry um, privately, bought his, a couple of his young gun cards, and I bought it for, I don't know, not, not half, but 75% of what it was selling for. Currently, in terms of last solds, again, another one. It's really crappy corner on the back. 75% um, of what it was selling for on eBay and on last solds and looked at recent auctions. And as soon as it got delivered to me, it had dropped. And now it is selling for roughly 50% of what I paid for it. So that's a little frustrating, but it happens. All right. Behind connecting here, we have a canvas Young Guns of Brett Murray. So now we have both canvas Young Guns of Brett Murray, but we do have an extra cam or an extra Young Guns now. So we are still expecting three more because these don't count towards your total. But there is just a regular canvas Young Gun of Brett Murray to go with our black one from our last box. But yeah, it was just, just frustrating when things like that happens. But the risks you take when you're buying cards. 
Second year, Ty Smith, Capocacco. Zach Parise, Hundo P. Would have really loved that to be a Kaprizov. I know I just said his card doesn't going to maintain value, but I'm a big Kaprizov fan. I think he's an electric player. I think he's good for the game, regardless of what's going on right now in the world. I'm not diminishing what's going on in the world at all. Um, but when you have players coming out saying they're they're against what's going on, you know that the fact that they're being punished is a little little crazy in in my eyes. But again, I don't know what goes behind the scenes, so I try to give everybody benefit of the doubt a little bit here. Mitch Marner, Blue Dazzlers. I like that card as a Leafs fan. That is something I like to see. All right, just want to make sure I don't miss any more suit variation so we're still expecting three young guns and we're down to our last stack with one pack so after this pack we're down to our last stack so i'm assuming there's young guns in here Niels hoaglander second year all right looks like some of the corners are bad on this one i don't think it's a young guns though tage thompson having himself a year Oh, yeah, it is a Young Guns checklist there of Cole Caulfield and Trevor Zegers. So we have one half of the right cards, or half of each of the right cards, but we didn't get the whole thing. Uh, unfortunately, that is one of the ones that we, you know, I haven't really seen this pulled with one of the big names. So this might be another box that doesn't really pay for itself in terms of value. And when I say whether it pays for itself, it doesn't mean I'm going to sell this just to make money back. Uh... It just means that I'm looking in terms of value, right? If you're going to buy something, you at least want to give value because otherwise I could have bought all these cards on their own, right, for for what it is. Now, I do enjoy opening packs. I do enjoy the this part of the hobby, but it's uh, you, you do hope that your your value gets back. Now, Alexi Lafreniere, second year. Um, again, he's a 2001, so he's four years younger than, than Kaprizov. Uh, what do we have here? We have a canvas. Second Evander Kane in this box. How does that happen? Why does that happen? Are they different? I hope they're at least different. They don't look to be different. Oh, well, that's upsetting. How do you get doubles of the same inserts? How does that happen? Quality control in that context. Uh... Now, I could be wrong. This one feels a little thicker, but I might just be tired because it's not thicker. Not at all. All right, Sid the Kid. Looks like we have another Hundo P. This is our third Hundo P, but Austin Matthews Hundo P. There we go. There we go. One for the PC. One for the PC. Vasilevsky Base. All right, I haven't got much Vasilevsky. I know a couple guys on the Twitter that are Vasilevsky collectors, and if I'm able to help them out, I will. But so far, I've only pulled base of them. I haven't pulled any any inserts. All right, Yessi Puarvi. Looks like we have a, what are we missing here? One, two, three, four, missing two young guns. So we do have one here. It is a Cam York. So we'll see if we're missing anything else. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it's just normal. So Cam York. So we are missing one more Young Guns. Hopefully it's it's a bigger name. I mean, the value on this this box has been significantly less. Even if the emotional value of the last one, last box, gave me, you know, brought it up because it wasn't crazy in terms of value. There's no big card, um, but it just it was fun opening because there are so many variations and so many hits and so many different things but this car this box or this yeah this box has been just lackluster from the whole thing so there's a jack campbell base things you love to see all right now we are gonna have a portraits here of jason robertson there we go jason robertson second year portraits adam fox third year now right yeah vladdy of Jenny Dadinov and JT Miller. So we have two packs left. We're looking for one young gun. Um, maybe it's Jersey card. I was thinking before Jersey card, clear cut. Maybe I can't remember the third thing, third option is, but so we did get our clear cut on this one. All right. What are we going to get? Is the young guns going to be here? Oh, we got another. Okay. Not 
<laughs> the team you want. But I would say this is one of those other inserts. We have a clear cut foundations. Um, don't know how well these will work, but we have a clear cut foundations there of the Coyotes. We have Jacob Chikrin and Connor Garland. Connor Garland. Wow, I know how to say that name and I still mess it up. So uh, a second clear cut card. But again, if you're going to look for foundations, you're not looking for for the foundations of Arizona and definitely not that foundation, those names. So, I mean, I really don't like a Zegris is the only thing that can save this box. And I know we pulled part of one in a in a checklist there. So let's I don't I don't know. Let's hope for a Zegris. Let's hope for a Zegris. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Moment of truth. Thatcher Demko. It is not a Zegers. It is not a Cole Caulfield. It is a Jackson Cates. All right. So we went from box one with nine young guns. Now this one still had seven. But again, there's just n people keep saying that this crop is is pretty good in terms of of second second tier players that you know you're you're going to be pretty good. There's two big names that you can get in series one for the first time in a long time, so you're not just boom or bust. You have a couple options. Well, we busted twice. We busted twice. I mean, Spencer Knight, I guess, was an argument is an upper class tier two, but. I mean, Cam York will be a five dollar, you know, young gun checklist here, five dollars, let's say, and and that's really it. Tanner Janot might be a little bit more, might be ten to twenty. Currently, at least it'll go down in value pretty soon. But so there we go. We have seven young guns, including a young gun canvas. We have three hundo P's. We have a clear cut foundations. We did get the awesome Matthews hundo P. Which is exciting. We have two Evander Kane, exact same canvas cards. Don't know why. Mitch Marner, Dazzlers. I can get Hondo P, Zach Parise. Who wants that one? Um, yeah, I don't, even that portrait looks a little. Maybe it's just because he's a white jersey, but it looked a lot whiter. So, all right. Well, there we go. Nothing too crazy. But thank you very much for being on this journey with me. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one, opening up some more new product, hopefully. All right, take care, everyone, and see you soon.